I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the burn zone with a hot spray. Here we go. Over the course of my career, I have done some arguably crazy things, like being bitten intentionally by an alligator, ah! or happily submitting myself to a sting from the Japanese giant hornet. Ah! All of my brushes with intense pain have been done in the name of science and education. So today's experiment loosely falls into those exact same categories. As an extreme educator, this is also the point where I tell you, never attempt to recreate the following science experiment. Thermopolis, Wyoming is without question one of the greatest locations the Brave Wilderness team and I have ever visited. It's a quaint little town, and with a population of around 3,000 people, it has an unforgettable charm. They are famous for many things, including the world-renowned Wyoming Dinosaur Center, where aspiring paleontologists can actually spend a day looking for fossils. Then you have Dairyland, which proudly boasts being the birthplace of Pickle Pops. Yep, this is where I set the world record for eating 10 of these salty treats in 30 minutes. As if dinosaurs and Pickle Pops weren't enough, Thermopolis also has a very catchy nickname, the Hot City, which is rightfully earned as they stake claim to the world's largest mineral hot spring. Before we get hands-on with the hot springs for this brilliant experiment, first it's important that we understand the science behind these bubbling pools of beauty. These hot springs originate in the Owl Creek Mountains, where surface water, like rain and melting snow, seep down through layers of porous rock. As the water flows deeper into the earth, it's heated by a geothermal gradient. When the heated water reaches fractured rocks within the Thermopolis anticline, it's channeled back up to the surface, and voila, you have hot springs. But are these hot springs hot enough to make me breakfast? We are just a few feet from the main source of Big Spring, which is the largest mineral spring in the entire United States. Now, this water, oh yeah, woo! Yeah, that is definitely hot. What we're gonna try to do today is find out whether or not a hot spring can boil an egg. What I've done in advance is prepare a couple of eggs. So you see this here? That is an egg in cheesecloth tied to a shoestring. Now we're going to try this experiment in three different time intervals. Five minutes, 15 minutes, and 30 minutes. This water stays at a consistent 127 degrees Fahrenheit. The actual boiling temperature of water is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. To make hard boiled eggs, you usually need to put a fresh egg inside of boiling water and keep it there for 10 minutes. So you may be saying to yourself, well, the math doesn't exactly add up. If you have to have boiling water to make hard boiled eggs, how is this experiment going to work? Basically what we're gonna do is keep the eggs in there longer than it would take to normally boil an egg and see what happens. Boiling eggs in the hot springs is completely fitting because the entire area already smells like rotten eggs. That's not because thousands of people have tried this experiment before me, but instead as a result of gas bubbles rising to the surface that contain hydrogen sulfide. H2S is a colorless, poisonous, flammable, and corrosive chemical compound which has the distinct stench of rotten eggs. Talk about some delicious science. All right, it has officially been five minutes, which means it's time to pull the first egg. And gently slice open the cheesecloth. Wow, it's really hot. Okay, there it is. 
Ah. Nope. Definitely not. Oh wow, it's hot. It's really hot. But it is definitely not hard boiled. Not gonna be eating that one. I'm gonna actually just dump this off to the side here. I'm gonna wait for another 10 minutes for egg number two to maybe finish cooking. Hey Coyote, what time is it? I think it's been uh, it's been 10 minutes or so. Oh yeah, actually it's been 11 minutes. Okay, we gotta check the second egg. Oh yeah, that is a hot egg right there. Uh, the, the shell is really soft, but it is definitely not hard boiled. Hold on, let me crack it open. Oh, it's hot. Way more gelatinous though, look at that. Considerably thicker than the last egg. I can actually hold the entire thing in my palm. Okay, we're making some progress here. That is definitely starting to cook. Long before I had the idea to boil eggs, and even before the arrival of fur traders in the West, Native Americans discovered the hot springs and referred to them as medicine waters. It was believed that these springs had incredible healing powers, which had the ability to cure everything from disease to gunshot wounds. Fast forward to the modern advancements in science, and today we know that the water in these springs has nearly six times the total dissolved solids found in drinking water basically classifying these springs as a supercharged vitamin pill. Our first two eggs weren't exactly edible, but with any luck, our third egg is going to be the charm. Ah, that is a hot egg right there. And it's just about my breakfast time, so I'm really hoping that this egg is cooked so I can actually eat it. Here we go. There it is. An egg that has cooked for 30 minutes in a hot spring. Is it hard boiled? I think there's a good chance. All right, here we go. One, two. Oh! No, not fully cooked, even after 30 minutes. Oh. Do you guys like your eggs? Extra runny? Oh no, it did not cook. Well, I guess that proves it. 127 degree Fahrenheit water is not capable, even after 30 minutes, of boiling an egg. All right, let me get some of this yolk off of me. Oh, oh it smells horrible, gross. Warning, never attempt to recreate the following experiment as hot water can cause serious burns, trauma, and medical bills. Okay, this is it. The moment you have all been waiting for. Am I capable of keeping my hands in the scolding water of this natural hot spring? Now keep in mind, this is 127 degrees Fahrenheit. Your hottest hot tub is probably around 104 degrees. So, am I gonna be able to keep my hands in there for 60 seconds? Not likely. 30 seconds? Maybe. 15 seconds? I think that's probably pretty fair. So if you guys are ready, I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the burn zone with a hot spring. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah. Oh wow, it gets hotter the DB you go. Ah. That is crazy hot. Holy cow. Wow. Unbelievable how hot that water is. Oh my gosh. I thought it might be able to last 60 seconds, but as soon as your fingers go down through the surface and get closer to the bottom, the water gets hotter and hotter and hotter. And I could actually feel the blood inside my fingers as if it was starting to boil. That was crazy. My hands are tingling right now from the intensity of that heat. 
I definitely say the takeaway from this episode is that first of all, this water is not hot enough to boil eggs. Even after 30 minutes, our science experiment failed. And when it comes down to the ridiculous nature of actually placing my hands into the hot springs, ah. I know that was entertaining, but guys, it is all about safety. These hot springs are incredibly hot. If you were to fall into this water or just place your hands into there for too long, you could face a serious burn situation. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you get the chance to visit Hot Springs State Park, make sure that you stick to the designated trails and definitely admire its bubbling hot springs from a safe distance. Hey Coyote Pack, if you thought challenging the hot springs was hilarious, make sure to go back and watch the episode where I set a new world record by eating 10 delicious pickle pops. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next location. Ah! Ah!